I figured out what was stopping this new red and black silk filament from 3D hoe drawer from printing. I thought it was a printer problem. Never really suspected the filament, but it turned out to be that when I took it out of the package, the guy who taught me how to 3D print, Chris, one of the first things he said is when you get a new spool of filament out and it's got the little bit that goes through up here, clip that off. And I don't like to waste stuff, so I didn't. And what happened was when it came around here, it jammed and wouldn't go in all the way. So I had to pull it out and cut it. And since I've done that, now you see it is printing absolutely fine. So me being stupid caused that one. But fortunately, that's what I've found with the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. Every now and then it does something stupid. But like 95% of the time, if something doesn't go perfectly, it's because I did something stupid. Um, although the fight I'm having with it now is I'm really digging using this cold plate, the gecko plate. And I'm having temperature issues where the printer wants to set it at 60 degrees and I have to bring it down to whatever the ambient chamber temperature is to get it to start printing. That's getting really aggravating because it's gonna be 99 degrees today and 101 tomorrow. I want as little heat being generated in my printing space as possible because I'm on the top floor of a building that does not have a perfectly insulated roof. So every additional degree of heat generated by this printer just makes this room more unbearable and this is the room where my office is so the cold plate is kind of like a quality of life device for me because it's keeping my office from being unbearably hot yep and i've been killing time so because i wanted to see how this silk black and red pla printed and that first layer is going down so slow. I, I don't think we're going to see any meaningful results. I'll, I'll make another video and show you how it did. 